Welcome. Electromagnetic um, spectrum. This used to appear in WAEC and in JAM question. They will be asking a lot of this question in whether WAEC and JAM. Um, you need to know um, how this thing works. And then um, it, it, it brought me to um, treating this special topic. Now, under electromagnetic spectrum, I just want to talk about this formula I just um, wrote on the board. If you want in-depth on electromagnetic spectrum, of course it's on our channel. Look for the video and endeavor to subscribe. Now, um, this is radio wave, microwave, infrared rays, and then you have what we call the row GBIV, which is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violent. And then you have the ultraviolet rays, you have the X-ray, gamma rays, and the what? Cosmic radiation. Now, most times they'll be asking you uh, between X-ray and um, gamma rays, which one have the highest energy, which one have the highest frequency, which one have the highest wavelength, and all these follow-up questions. And that's what brought me to treating this special aspect in chemistry, which is the electromagnetic spectrum. And we also have something like this um, in um, physics too. So for the science student, it's a plus in two ways. So um, I will be giving a number of questions after I've explained this, like I've, I've already um, called the name for you, write it down on your jota. Now, energy increases by the right. So that means as you are moving to the right from radio wave, microwave, as you are moving to the right, the energy is increasing. The frequency is what? Increasing. And then as you are moving towards the left, what is happening is the wavelength is what? Increasing. You can see the arrow. So what it actually means, Jam will ask you, radio wave and microwave, which one have the highest wavelength? Of course, the answer will be what? Radio wave. Because as you're going to the left, it increases. Are you seeing it? Now, they will ask you again, in Jam or in Wayek, mostly all these things Jam, and they will say, um, ultraviolet and X-ray, which one have the highest energy? The one that have the highest energy, of course, is what? The X-ray. Because as you are moving to the right, the energy is what? Increasing. And the, as the energy is increasing, the frequency is what? It's also increasing. And then you have things like, they will ask you, between ultraviolet and gamma rays and cosmic radiation, which one has the highest energy? Of course, you can see that cosmic radiation have highest energy to what? Than S gamma ray. And they have highest energy to what? To X-ray because as you are moving to the right, the what? The energy is increasing. The what? The frequency is increasing. So between gamma rays and X-ray, which one have the highest frequency? Of course it's gamma rays. Gamma rays have the highest frequency. Gamma rays have the highest energy. Now look at it. Between X-ray and gamma rays, which one have the highest wavelength? Which one have the highest wavelength? You can see that it's what? X-ray, because wavelength increases towards the left. So you can see it's what? X-ray have the highest wavelength. Now, between orange and indigo, which one have the highest wavelength? Of course, you can see it's what? It's orange, because you have to pass indigo before you reach. So as you are going towards the microwave side, the wavelength is what? It's increasing. Now, between red and yellow, which one have the highest frequency? Of course, it's yellow. So this is so easy, guys. Endeavor to practice it. Endeavor to use this symbol I'm using. Sooner or later, you will get so familiar with this. I don't like most of my students. They keep on complaining about this. I've tweeted it. Thank you very much.